Do you know what people are saying about your PowerPoint presentation? If it's anybody who isn't on the first row, it's probably something like this. What's on this guy's PowerPoint slide? I can't see anything. I can't see the bottom half. Are there numbers up there? What's it, what's it doing there? Does anyone have a handout? The story of your PowerPoint quite often is it's ineffective because you didn't do your homework. If you want to test your PowerPoint slides, it's not enough to look at it on a big computer screen in front of you in an ideal situation. You need to look at it in the room where people are going to see it. And if you're giving your presentation in a room, let's say a hotel conference room that's not the big ballroom, then the ceiling might not be that high. So the screen may go almost to the floor or two feet above the floor. What does that mean? It means everyone in the back half of the room cannot see the bottom half of your screen. Therefore, anything you reference is completely a waste of time. No one can see it. So you need to look at the room where your PowerPoint presentation is being shown. And you need to look at it from the cheap seats all the way in the back of the room to see how the audience is going to see it. If they can't make it out, then you need to redesign your slide. That's why I use a technique where there's only one idea per slide, one image per slide. You do it that way, typically if people only see the top half, they'll still get the message. I'm TJ Walker. If you'd like more tips on how to be a more persuasive speaker, how to use PowerPoint, storytelling, to give any pitch or talk or speech or presentation, then I urge you, please scroll to the bottom of this page and sign up for my upcoming webinar.